Hello guys, well, what is up? My name is Dan the Delight and today I am bringing you a Noah Fadiga FIFA 23 Winter Wildcards player review. Um, this is the guy that's just come out in a squad builder challenge, 83 rated squad you need to uh, swap for him. 6 foot 2, high medium work rates, left footed, not that that really matters because he's got that 5 star skill move, a uh, 5 star weak foot sorry, uh, only 3 star skill moves but 5 star weak foot is fantastic. He is a left winger from Belgium and the League 1. We get a lot of League 1 uh, squad builder challenges in this Winter Wildcards. So 92 pace, very, very nice indeed, of course. 85 shooting with 86 attack positioning, 85 finishing, very nice. 81 passing, a little on the low side, but the short pass is very good there. 86 dribbling with 90 agility, 88 balance, which I love because that means he's going to be very nice and fun to play with. Uh, terrible defending, doesn't really matter because he is an attacking player. Low strength, to be honest, but again, I, I think that if you put a card on him, that will increase his physical, um, it'll increase his strength, and with that sort of pace and dribbling, he's going to be a very fun card to play with. So let's get into some gameplay with him now and see how we go with him. All right, so you're joining me here at 1-0 down, unfortunately, uh, but we have got Fadiga playing up top here. Um, Oh, showing very good strength actually to beat off Hernandez there and then gets uh, gets tackled in the end. But he started off quite nicely. He hasn't really done an awful lot in this game. That was a good little bit there. Um, but yeah, he hasn't really had a, an awful lot of opportunities to be honest. This is the very first game that I'm playing with him. Of course, I will play some more games before um, before giving the final verdict on him. Let's see if we can get the ball up to him a little bit more than what, uh, what we have done in the first 10 minutes here. Good shot from him there, Joe Colt. Very nice indeed, but uh, yeah, not really. Uh, it was quite far out. That would be worrying if he did manage to get the ball in the back of the net from there. This guy likes to shoot from far away. It's looking like. All right, where's Fadiga? There he is on the ball. Nice, nice turn, nice pass. Can't complain there. Oh, and we're away here. So can we get the ball to him? Go on, finish this lad. And he does very nicely done there. Puts it in the back of the net. 1-1 one, one for Diga with the goal there. Um, I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. That's, um, yeah, definitely a, a very good start for him. First 20 minutes in of game plan, he manages to get a goal. I don't know about that being a foul, that looks a bit soft. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a decent looking card. The stats on the card are, are very, very nice. So I'm hoping that this actually will keep translating. I mean, a goal in for the first 20 minutes is a, is a nice start for him. Um, but hopefully that can continue. Nicely done there from the Nakata. Straight to Moriantes. Where's Fadiga? Oh, come on, ref. That's got to be a red, isn't it? A lot of last man to me. Yeah, he has sent him off. That is very good going. That is good for this because uh, that means hopefully Fadiga is going to get a lot of space. That's Lucio going off as well. Um, probably the best centre-back that this guy's got. Speaking of centre-backs, what is going on with mine? Oh, my goodness. And that's going to be two, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, that was poor. Poor, poor, poor from uh, from my defending there. And uh, Lindbergh puts it away. I think he's got all icons and heroes, this guy. Um, seems that way. Oh, go on. Moriantes, and here is Fadiga making a great run. He's got a lot of space there because there's no centre back. Finishes off beautifully. What a goal that is from Fadiga. Very, very nice finish there. Um, both of his goals have been really nice finishes, but that one in particular was a very, very solid finish. So, yeah, very happy with that. That is two goals within the first 30 minutes of game um, in game time, and that is a fantastic way to start his career for me. And he's on the attack now a little bit here. Two all though. Um, both goals come in courtesy of Fadiga. Showing his pace and his finishing ability in both of those. He almost scored there as well. Um, not, not, not quite good defending. Um, uh, it looks like he's bought on a defender unfortunately. But he's lost a midfielder so hopefully we can still get through quite, quite easily. Um, outnumber him in midfield. This guy is tr trying all sorts of crazy stuff. Could have barley a good. We want to get it up to... Uh, Fadiga, get him his hat trick would be very nice, but I don't know, that would be some tough task to, to get in his very first game for me. Um, it would be very nice though. His five star weak foot is beautiful. I love five star weak foot because it just means that you don't have any worry. That is a very nice bit of dribbling there. Unfortunately, he couldn't get past Kim Min Jae. I'm assuming that is his World Cup card, and that card is a beast. Um, but yeah, very nice dribbling the first to get past the uh, the first defender or well midfielder I imagine that was that he managed to beat. That's it, well in, could it keep going? Unlucky. And a good best. Alright, oh we've got a good attack going on here. He's brought his defender way out. And there we go. 
Oh, nicely done. That touch is fantastic. Pace is beautiful. Just needed to finish there. Unlucky for Diga. That was very nice, though. His touch was beautiful there. Took it in his stride and uh, definitely displayed the uh, the high pace stat that he's got on the card. So very, very nice indeed. George Best can't do an awful lot there, unfortunately. All right, last couple of minutes here of this uh, this half short. Bruno G and Bestie, can we get it over to Fadiga one last time to get a goal? That would be nice, wouldn't it? In the oh, he got an assist there. Oh, Veron should have been putting that in the back of the net. That would have been an assist. Two goals and an assist would have been very nice for him. Um, but still, I mean, he's he's had a great half. If this is uh, this is his final tally with two goals. In the uh, in the very first half of the very first game plan with him, got one more attack probably left in this half. Oh, it's a good one as well. Go on, oh, what a pass that is! Using very good strength. What a finish as well. Really, really solid strength shown there, which surprises me because his strength is low, and I didn't put any cards on um, for this for this game just to see what his base would be like, and that was really, really solid. Very good strength shown there. Um, I'm going to end this one here. Um, let's get back into the in-game stats and compare them to how he felt in-game after playing a few more games with him. Alright, so as you probably know if you've seen these videos before, I'm going to go stat by stat and review them uh, how they felt in-game. So 92 pace, felt every bit of 92 pace. One of the faster players that I've used on FIFA, you saw some examples of it there where he's just managing to sprint past defenders. So we're definitely keeping that at 92. Can't increase it because 92 is such a high stat as it is anyway. Um, but he's definitely not getting a decrease from me. His shooting at 85 can definitely be increased, and it gives me great pleasure to say that because 85 is already a decent stat. Um, I'm going to bring it up to an 87. Really, really solid striking. Um, good finishing. You saw an example of it there. Well, three examples. He got the hat trick in the very first game, and he didn't really drop off form. He, he managed to get some more goals for me. He scored in the second half of that game as well, so he got four goals in his very first game for me. Solid. 81 passing. Probably feels about right. I didn't notice that he was doing anything outstanding as far as passing goes. So I think we can leave that at 81. Dribbling at 86, I think can actually get a slight increase as well. Um, I think that we can increase the dribbling to an 88. Um, really, really solid. His, his first touch was immense. Um, and that agility and balance, just it just does something. where It just makes the dribbling feel so, so solid. So yeah, we'll bring that up to an 88. Um, defending I can't really touch, he's a, he's a forward, left winger, right winger, whatever, um, wherever you want to play him. So defending, we don't need to touch there because he didn't do anything defensively for me to, to stand out as a defensive player. Um, and in the physical, he's only got 79 on the card there. Um, I definitely think that we can increase the uh, the physical though. His strength was really, really solid and it's weird to say that because I didn't expect his defense, his physical to be uh, that good and his strength to be that good. You saw an example there. It was Kim Min Jae that he was pushing off the ball who has ridiculous strength on this game. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to give an increase to the physical and we're going to bring it up to an 84, mainly targeted at, at the strength um, stat there. So really, really solid. So is he worth doing? Uh, we We've increased shooting pass uh, sorry we've kept pace the same increased shooting kept passing the same increased dribbling kept defending the same increased physical every other one there we've increased so for me and with five star weak foot and only an 83 rated team needed to swap decent enough links with Belgium and the French League especially now that we've got a lot of French League um, players in the uh, in the winter wildcards SBCs 100% worth it I would go and do him right away and uh, if you do let me know in the comments how you get on if you do like the video, please do give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more videos like this, and there will be a link in the description down below full of FIFA 23 player reviews. As always guys, thank you for watching. Bye bye.